cartel that's sent along with drug cartel, is that correct? Yeah, exactly. So this is, uh, so it looks like blank manipulation. So you contact the FBI. October 10th, Thursday at 1.42 p.m. Usually there's a guy there who is uh, selling musical equipment, but he has a cane. I think he may not be able to stay there all the time, so this looks like a ship chain. This looks like a ship change of gang stalkers. Notice the red jacket that he's got on the ground, in addition to him holding a red bag around his shoulder. So after you left, right next to the red truck that I highlighted in a previous video today. They've got complaints that it looks like they're they're manipulating the names of these people so they can get past the filters, and of course under the Bank Secrecy Act. This is a perfect vantage point to surveil the entrance of my hotel coming in and out and possibly do other things uh, with the utilization of uh, exotic weapons. My room is uh, directly across the street from this location. But under the Bank Secrecy Act, they have an obligation to know who these people are so that they're not participating in the war on drugs or the war on I've never seen yet. this guy here before. Not surprisingly, to those who listen to InfoWars, we see that uh, large banks. Uh, That's his uh, cart right there. Running and financing this war on air and this war on drugs. So there we go yet again. What happens when you get to the FBI? Do they do anything? Yeah, well, let me just uh, uh, just a brief comment on something you said. So, for instance, the, the, the know your customer rule is part of the Bank Secrecy Act. Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, you know, it, it, it's there.